This is the limit as x approaches zero. Look very carefully. Okay, pay attention, please. And then sine of ax over x. So now here you have a. In the bottom there is no a. So now we call the following: like a divided by a is one. Anything divided by itself is one except zero. That's a different story. So you can use that here. You can say the limit as x approaches zero, and then you put an a on top, and then sine of ax, and then a times x on the bottom. So notice something specific here. There's an a here now, and there's a bold a on top. Look at it very carefully. This is because a divided by a is one. So you're going back to grade school and multiplying and making an equivalent fraction. Okay, so then you're going to have the following. Put the a outside, the top a, and then you have the limit as x approaches zero of sine of ax over ax. But now this limit is known to be 1. The limit as x approaches 0 of sine of ax over x. So you have a times 1 like this. Make that bold and then that is equal to a. So for your particular example I've given you a template. Just plug in your particular value of a and this is how you do the limit every single time. So there are like infinitely many versions of this for the different values of a. Just plug in your a and then you're done. Please be sure to check the description for additional resources and leave a like.